Hi there VC, Steve Whitty here um, with a, another video and this video is part of a series, I think it might be two, maybe three, sort of rounding up my purchases for January. This video is going to focus on the CDs I've brought. Um, yes, I still buy CDs um, and I've always said that my the guy at my local record shop um, says you know, should always what still but worth buying CDs. Things come back round in cycles just because um, they're dropping off. And if you search round, you can have some good find yourself some good bargains. And for example, by where I live, there is sort of like a charity called Reusers. Um, they get donated mainly furniture, but they also get a lot of DVDs and CDs. And they're doing like something like twenty five. Um, for CDs for a fiver, so I had a look around there and I sort of filled my boots a little bit. Um, some of the others are charity shops, um, but I've got some things, got myself some nice finds. And what I'm finding is, and one of the things I'm going to decide to do if I find an album on CD, I'm not necessarily going to find it, I'm going to search for it on vinyl. I've got a copy of said album, um, I'd rather discover new music than just sort of repeat what I've already got so I might as well start now so the first album CD sorry is Good Bad and the Queen debut album from 2007 um, David Alban and Paul Simonson probably the main uh, members of the band this is sort of like sort of reflection of Britain history and they've just recently released their second album which also sort of like um, Sort of, sort of like reflects Britain post Brexit. So coming up, to, well, not post Brexit, coming up to Brexit. So interesting listening. I quite enjoyed that actually. Next one is Amadou and Miriam, and this is Dimanche in Bamako, Sunday in Bamako. Features Manu Chow on there. Um, Amadou and Miriam, a couple of uh, the blind um, artists from I think Mark from Mali. Um, I've listened to their stuff before and find it enjoyable so to actually own a physical copy of, of a CD I was pleased to pick that up Tori Amos uh, Boys of Pele oh, this um, came out I believe in 95, 96 um, this album does contain a professional widow and it's a re it's a reissue so it does contain the remix that went to number one in the uk uh, the armin van armin um remix armin van helden remix so yeah always look on the lookout for this tori amos one of the great female voices arrested development three years five months two days in the life of um this album sort of passed me by when it first came out. I wasn't really into sort of like uh, hip hop and all that, so um, more than pleased again to pick that up. Baby Shambles, and this is uh, Death in, in Down in Albion. Um, Pete, Doherty, Pete Doherty's um, band after he left the after he left the Libertines, or well, the Libertines split up, two thousand and five. Um, okay, it's not a great album. I don't think it's a great album, but it's not too bad. Bad Religion, and this is The Empire Strikes First. Quite a short album, this. Um, I, I was aware of the band, and of course I was in the reusers, and I thought I could get this for 40 pence. Uh, I thought it was worth giving it, giving it a punt. Um, yeah, it's, it's okay. It's, for what it is, it's okay. It's not probably the greatest Beautiful South, carry on up the charts, the best of Beautiful South. It came out in 1994. This actually sold quite a lot of copies. It was the number one album. Beautiful South, offshoot of the um, House Martins. And Paul Heaton um, set, set it up. There are some good tracks on here. Um, Song for Whoever was a favourite of mine. Sail the Ship Alone. Um, Little Time was the number one single for them. Um, old Red Eyes is back as another favourite. Um, 
yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a good album for what it is. But no, I think there's an offshoot that carries on with them. Paul Heaton left the band a long time ago. Really pleased to find this. Uh, it's Beck's Mellow Gold, uh, his debut album, I believe. Um, yeah, um, Loser, obviously, the big, big track on here. I'm just so f happy to find that. Another band I was pleased to find. You see the Corals, The Invisible Invasion. Um, I think this 2005, so this might have been their third album. I had it on download, um, so I have to find a copy. Coral, in, always an interesting band from uh, from Liverpool. Uh, yeah, sort of pop psych, I would describe them as if you're not aware of them. Something in the more dancier vein. Um, Death from Above, 1979. Um, you're a woman, I'm a machine. Very much sort of dance um, orientated. I just like the name, thought I'd give this a punt. Um, it's okay, it's for what it is. It's not probably not my quite my cup of tea, but no, it, it wasn't too bad. Probably more to the American um, uh, watch it, viewers of my channel. Fastball. And this is all the pain money can buy. Um, probably contains the way, which is the nearest they got to. It. They got it was a hit in the UK, but it was a big hit in in America. And recently saw a, a Facebook post where I think um, somebody said, "Don't let the one song sort of like this uh, roll the whole album." And and the way doesn't re reflect. I don't think how the whole album sounds. It's a very good power pop album actually. Um, and they're going to play the UK in, I think, in March, it might be March, but it'll be the first UK gig in 20 years. I hope I've pronounced this name right. Ray Le Matanya, Matanya, or whatever. You can read it if you have trouble. I was aware of the guy. Um, uh, critically lauded, apparently a bit difficult. Um, yeah, I like I like his voice. Uh, the songs are good on this album, so I was pleased to pick that up. Another band that had a sort of what like little hit hit single um, in the late nineties, like Less Than Jake. Um, this is the Pez Collection, and um, probably just their best of all on maybe the label they're on. Um, what was interesting is sort of things that I found is the cover they do a cover of the Jam's Modern World on, on here. Um, yeah, it was all right. It was it was quite fast paced, sort of scar punk. Um, yeah, I enjoyed that. Milo destroy rock and roll. Um, again, dance. Um, I knew of it. But when I actually listened to it, I didn't realise how I'd recognise some of, quite a few of the tracks on there. So, yeah, um, I was just say which is the one um, in my arms. Um, yeah, was well, probably the one I recognised the most. So it's, sometimes you listen to an old album and you suddenly realise what um, tracks are on there. Pet Shop Boys, Fundamental. This is from, you know. 2006 um, by then the, the band had sort of established themselves as sort of like national treasures so uh, they were, the tour was always yet sell out the records don't sell as much as they did in the 80s but uh, they've got their own niche market and they do make some interesting interesting songs good great songs the Pogues Red Roses sorry Red Rose for, Red Roses for me I think I'm never quite sure which came first, that or the Run Sodomy and Lash album. Um, yeah, I'm pleased to have that. Um, very much sort of like Irish. You know what the Pogues sound like, where they, they they come from. This is more sort of like from their roots, the um, the Irish jigs and um, and the like. And as I said, they followed it up. I think with Run Sodomy and the Lash, and. This is just an absolute corking album. Um, and the band played Walsing Matilda, it's just a great song. Um, um, dirt, um, Dirty Old Town, um, Sally McLennan. You know, if you, you know, you know this album, you know what I'm talking about. 
So, red one there. Band, first bit of product I've got from this band. It's the Proclaimers, Hit the Highway. Best known track is Let's Get Married. Um, so, 1994. And, uh, yeah, uh, I, again, the song... Yeah, there's some great songs on here, some political songs on here, but some, you know, some just got great. The harmonies get you get you with those, and I suppose that's what you get with Brothers. Frank Zappa's Strictly Commercial. My first pick is Zep again. It's I've been looking for this for ages, and I don't think you'll get it on, on vinyl. But it, this I got in the shop uh, in like a record shop, and this was three pound, and yeah, it's pretty much got everything that you want. It's a good introduction to Zappa. That's probably what I was looking for more than anything while trying to find this. I want to dip my toe into Frank Zappa a little bit more, but I know there's so much stuff out there that, um, and so, some of it you know, can be quite far out, so I just need, needed something just to um, make me aware of what's out there. At the driving and Relationship of Command, um, I brought this because I knew the one, the song "One Arm Scissor" VH1 in the UK used to play that a lot on the video, so I knew that song. Um, yeah, and it obviously morphed into the Mars Volta, um, who, who I do like. So yeah, happy to have that. Playing this last night. This is "Love Supreme" by John Coltrane. Uh, again, it's one of those must have, maybe must have albums introduction to jazz. Um, Again, I bought that in the shop. It was three pound. Um, uh, yeah, it's it's one of those. I'll buy a CD or something that I think. Well, will I pay the twenty quid? Will I like this or not? I do like it, so I'm happy to just have the CD copy of that. Though the shop was selling a a, a vinyl copy, a UK vinyl copy for seventy pound. <laughs> just picked up this. The CD single, uh, Deep Purple Australia 79, it's in a strange shape. It's got a smoke on the water, a radio mix and an enhanced video. I'm not quite sure what were the purpose of that being released. A couple of Doors album CDs, Waiting for the Sun and Morrison Hotel. Sort of plug, plugging gaps in the Doors. It, actually, I'm quite light on the Doors. There's quite a few albums I, I haven't got. And likewise... McCartney solo, especially his later stuff. So to find this, and this was found in a charity shop, uh, paid me one ninety nine for that. Memory almost full. I'm not aware of any of the tracks on the album. I've yet to listen to it, so I look forward to that. One charity shop find. I was really lucky. Um, a rather neat collection of uh, Pink Floyd had come, had come in and was been, been donated to a charity shop and I thought you know, I, know um, I thought I fill my boots one um, this is Oh my Gummer um, this was in the, I think the 19 I think it's, it might have been the 1994 reissue got the box there I think there might have been a booklet that's not it's not there anymore um you see how, how it's how, how, how they've done the box. So you got the picture at the side there. Um, studio live part of the live album was recorded at Mummer's M Mother's Cub in Erdington. Erdington's not that far away from me, and they are looking to put a gig to celebrate the 50th anniversary of the establishment of, of M Mother's. It's in the like, town hall, Sutton to Coalfield. So hopefully I can get myself a ticket for that. I also managed to pick up a copy of Animals um, and got that on vinyl, but I thought I'd give, have that on, on CD. Um, anniversary of it being released, 42 years, I think, this past week. So. And then finally, probably the one I was really pleased to find, it's, is there any one out there? This is the live album recorded on the initial tour of the war. Um, and it was only limited, it was only released for a short, short amount of time. And it's very difficult to get hold of, and to find that I was more than happy. I did have a tape, tape copy. Uh, well, actually, no, it was a mini disc copy. Somebody did me a mini disc. I did have a mini disc player back in the time, so very pleased to have that um, sort of a document. Yeah, found that in the um, reusers. It's solid gold T Rex. It's a free CD 
T-Rex best of um, sort of thing useful to to play if I just want to do, do something I just want to listen I always like T-Rex is one of my go-to bands and then finally Velvet Underground Loaded which is this is a reissue from I think it might be 1997 it's two disc so you've got the original album and bonus tracks on side one and then disc two is an alternative album full of all mixes and demos so yeah pleased to have that and I need to move that there. There you go. So those were the CDs I, I purchased in January. So I will, uh, in a moment, to start doing my video for the albums, which I'll probably will publish a bit later in the week. So not to bombard you with um, bombard you with uh, with too many videos at once i know it's it, you know everyone it struggles at times to watch video uh, keep up with videos so hope you've in, you, you haven't had a good weekend so far and you've got plenty planned for sunday i'm going to i'm going to me like a record store they've got a band playing um for an hour so later on tonight so that'd be be, be good, a lot of fun so until the next video vc oh hang on i've got to do me wrap up um if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Thumbs up, thumbs down, love the interaction. And feel free to comment, I will try and get back to you. So until the next video, VC, take care of yourselves, keep spinning, more importantly, keep smiling. <laughs>